You know turbo lag though? Yeah. You want to see the worst turbo lag you've ever seen in your entire life? It takes a while. Watch. Yeah. I'll floor it. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. It was coming. It was coming. Be another five oh. minutes. <laughs> so lucky for us, even though the turbo lag, some guy in a lab came out with this thing. But you're doing your metal work a little close to my finest, oh, shiniest race car, brother. I'm worried you're gonna scratch it, you know? And I don't know what I'll do if you scratch my Supra in broad daylight. All right, guys, the Supra was having some issues at FL2K. You saw that RPM trace in the data log. It looked awful. And I took Paul for a ride the other day. Will you race this one? Is that what you're doing? Nah, it's more of a street car. Okay. Hopefully this thing runs good. It's been running kind of weird. It was According to the data log, nothing wrong. All my helicopters are analog, right? No computers. I don't want any computers running my engine. Yeah. Right? the car did scare him it was still having that issue so today we're gonna put the rat rod supra on the dyno over there and see if we can sort out what this crazy boost situation we've got going on is i don't even know what it is but we've tried to trace it down the street we can't figure it out let's hop on the dyno and that'll sort it out supra going on our in-house dyno here that fresh parachute looking good Four straps on the back, huh? Toyota yeah, I don't, Supra. I don't know what level boost. I think I can do it on level Thousand. two or three, and it should do the. Should be able right. to hear it. We'll it's see. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> oh, I heard. So it sounds like when you're headed back to the trailer. When your car goes. <laughs> yeah. It got me sent back to the trailer. I know, dude. I don't know if I would have had that car. So the only variables are we changed some boost settings and then we put that fuel in it, which that fuel brought the ethanol content up really high because E98. Maybe it just doesn't like that. I don't know. One way to find out. And then we'll add a bunch of normal E85 to it. It's a pump E85. Let it run. Cycle it through. Delete the E90. Let's see what it does. 
almost E100, maybe E90. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. I got an idea. The old dino, Marlin. Buddy, help us, help us with this misfire, would you? Oh, he's getting a little though, dust. Then it just went away on its own. It's going to come back on the road. Yeah, load. I want it to do it. We definitely want it to do it so we can figure it out. To Jay-Z. Yep, still there. It's still there. I mean, we got that much figured out. You ready, brother? Ready. Damn, we've never done a 2J pole in the shop. Well, First. we kind of just did one. Second ago. Like two steps. <laughs> two steps. Well, it's going to be loud. All right, brother. Dash control off, setting two. Okay? Setting two. All right, yeah. see it. See what you got bud What's your... what is that dude what is this line i mean this rpm curve is the most dramatic i've ever seen in my life fuel pressure's dialed right yeah yeah it's definitely not a fuel pressure issue i mean it made 40 pounds of boost look how smooth the boost is yeah. the boost is not causing this oscillation and i mean i only made it to 7300 rpm that's just where the party starts <laughs> <laughs> with the supra so we gotta figure out what the hell's going on man great fuel pressure great air fuel ratio i mean let's go to the ethanol content fuel composition so it is at 90 percent ethanol which is it which that's is pretty it? high what's yeah. it what's the duty cycle at no i'm just saying it's 90 percent ethanol like yeah. that content's high the duty cycle is nothing it's chilling what occurred before the fuel got added anything no <laughs> Nothing. Nothing like it just doesn't look like anything weird in here. It's got no like cam sync issues, nothing like that. Do you have a tune up from before we changed everything? Like a like the tune up from when we rolled over there? I might. That's a good question. Let me save this one. Uh, save everything except for that last part where it stumbled. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that part out. Right. Got the old tune? Right, this is the tune from before we went roll racing because i just grabbed it and i was like oh let me put it on let me just save this so i always have the, the og tune okay now. so we'll try this yeah i mean and hopefully it runs great <laughs> that if it doesn't run great then it's not in the tune because we know it didn't do it with this tune up know we got something the only other thing that changed would be the fuel you know what we should do is put nitro in it <laughs> yeah that'll that'll definitely get rid of yeah, the problem exactly <laughs> get rid of the whole engine i guess i just got to put out there that the engine might be hurt because <laughs> the last time it had a good run remember i had that big fuel cut right up at the big end yeah because it lost fuel pressure for that split second and went but then it sounds and drives perfect i mean maybe there is a hurt hole you just can't reveal it until you're under boost but it's not like breathing crazy or anything like that i hate to believe it might be that but i may have heard it by running it low on gas which would be a big idiot move so let's just hope that putting this street e85 in it brings it back to life it's like dude that fuel is too fancy for me <laughs> i'm a rat rod give me that street fuel give me that street fuel also do not believe the torque that this is saying because i just remembered that fifth gear is one to one on these i'm in fourth ah so the torque is a little boosted up on this all right let's let, i'll let it idle now all right get it mixed up e85 on. <laughs> all right so we got our street e85 this, this in is, there this is a 
a hope and dream right here. It's yeah. Like, we're down to 83% ethanol. Looking at the data log, fuel pressure's good. Oil pressure's good. Injector duty cycle's good. Spark and everything looks good. And I would think maybe it's blowing out the spark plugs, you know. But it starts doing this at like 14 pounds of boost. Yeah. So it's just, it's such low low. Uh, Alright, well we changed the fuel back to what it was before we put the other fuel on it, so let's just see what it does. You take good care of it, you don't beat on it, and then all of a sudden, th this, well, you know? This is gonna end up 100% my fault. If there is a cylinder hurt, it's 1000% from when it was running perfect, ran out of gas, and then never ran perfect since that moment. It's gotta yeah. be that moment. So, Jack Stan's gonna do a leak down test right now, and we'll find out which cylinder we hurt on our brand new induction engine. But, uh, good thing it's got a warranty, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sure that's <laughs> still part of the deal. I don't know if this is warrantyable. <laughs> This is not a warrantyable offense, buddy. Damn, probably not. You're going to be done, but hopefully not. What up? Hey, bud. What's up? Hey, what's the warranty like on these if you run them out of uh, fuel mid-pull and potentially <laughs> potentially hurt the engine? No. Yeah, well, it was at FL2K, which is technically your event. And Why I was, are you running the car with no fuel? Well, dude, the gauge isn't exactly accurate. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, it's accurate. I'd say it's off about a couple percent, though. Oh, okay. Anyway, you know how I was making that breaking up noise? Yeah. We tried everything to get it to stop doing it. We're doing a, a leak down test right now, brother. How's she looking? I have no results yet. I just called to speculate with you. All right, we'll do a, we'll do a compression test real quick. Okay. But here's the deal. It's like things making a perfectly smooth pull until it reaches... 30 pounds of boost, for example, in this one, it's perfectly smooth, and then it drops a hole, or maybe two. You got someone who could take a gander at this if we send it to you? We did all new coils. All new coils, all new plugs. Yeah, just send me, send me the log. I'm gonna send it right now, brother. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We'll do a compression <laughs> test in the meantime. All right, we're gonna do a compression test, and then we'll send this stuff over to Victor and see what we can find. All right, bud. Moment hey, of truth here. Everyone cross their fingers. <laughs> All right. 130. 130. <laughs> they all have to be the same. Would be ideal. All right. We got 130. Okay. All right. They're the same so far. <laughs> I'm just sitting over here, you know, just with my fingers crossed. <laughs> Patiently <laughs> this is waiting. the worst feeling when the compression tester's out. It's never a good sign. It's the worst feeling like i don't think i've ever seen a compression tester come out and everyone's like oh woohoo! oh we're good yeah i've never <laughs> have i pulled one out and been like hell yeah it's all good number three here we go all right 130 same oh. yes three three out of this six might be the first time i get a good <laughs> i'm feeling good number four Crank it. come on buddy <laughs> A little longer to get there, but you know, interesting. Yeah, I don't like that. Don't doubt her yet. It's two Jay Z, the buzzing dozen. Well, half dozen. Oh, buzzing half dozen. <laughs> All right, buddy. Moment of truth. Last one. All right. 130. Okay, so what do we, what are we thinking? <laughs> I mean. We had that one that was down five psi. I don't think that's enough to really back two are usually a hot be a side. red yeah. flag. Five and six usually run hotter than the rest. They're both like five pounds down, but it's not like you. It's I mean, not crazy. It's square across the board. 
Yeah. All right, here's the deal, brother. We got 130, 130, 130, 130, 125, 130 on the compression shack. What do you think? Um, yeah, our gauge could read it. It's hot. I mean, that's not bad, and they're all very, very close. Okay. Guys do leak down the track. You guys look at that tune. We'll keep looking over things. Let's see line? if we can get to the bottom of this. I already emailed it to you, brother. All right, thanks. The mystery of the Rat Rod Supra continues. Induction performance believes that this is a plug wire situation. Hmm. Do you think it's a plug wire situation? I don't see how it could I don't be. See how it could. All right, so guys, we put the Haltech coils back on. We tried our coils, the ones that we pulled off Mola that we knew were good. That didn't fix it. It's not like we took these plug wires off the car and then the issue arose. The issue arose just while we were ripping. So took these off. They look perfect. But we got freshies on there, so let's see what it'll do. Victor said his guys looked at all the logs and everything looks good. So if this doesn't work, Victor's coming to pick it up, hand it over to Ty, make one more pull. We've never had a dyno crash, and I don't want to be in a dyno crash compilation video. I was like, oh, That's boy. That's the four straps, though. One I failed. Know. Yep. Other three kept her good. Yep. If you only had two back there, we'd be picking up a yep. super out of the wall over here. You know what the here. issue is? That ain't going anywhere. Now we're good. Ah, finally, guys. A clean-looking pole. Check that out. Smooth as can be. Oil pressure. Freaking 101 PSI. It made 48 pounds of boost and... Double sure, man. Those things
car this nice with a paint job this clean. Yeah. Oh. You got a turbo lag though? Yeah. You want to see the worst turbo lag you've ever seen in your entire life? Takes a while. Watch. We're 3,000 RPM. Uh, Typically that's where like you can pretty easily split. Uh, yeah. I'll floor it.